This is Don Mitchell of Green Global Investments uh, from uh, Winter Park, Florida. And uh, we're having a little discussion, a little interview, if you will, with Ross Beatty, who's certainly one of the most interesting people that uh, I've heard at this conference and maybe at any conference lately. And it's a combination of both business interest and charitable interest. And it probably could be epitomized best by labeling it do good and do well. And uh, Ross, uh, first question uh, about your charitable area of your enterprise. Exactly what is the theme of uh, your charity and what you do with it and how it works? Would you care to share a little bit of that with us? Sure. Well, I've got, I've got multiple sort of areas that I, I like to focus in on. And, and one of them is my charity. It's, it's, a, it's a foundation called the Sitka Foundation. Uh, and it's really about, about environmental uh, uh, projects, trying to do land conservation, help certain species at risk, uh, bring the salmon back to rivers that I used to fish when I was a kid, that kind of thing, and, uh, and lots and lots of other things. It's a decent sized foundation in Canada, uh, and it's powered by my success in the natural resources businesses where I've developed many, many companies. I've been a serial entrepreneur, and my number one company right now is a clean energy company called Altera Power. So the, the profits from, from those successful businesses are going, getting plowed into my foundation to have what I consider like triple home runs. First home run, if I can generate a, a, a profitable business, is to my shareholders. They can make money, they can make capital gains, and that's a, that's a great win. The second is, for me personally, as the largest shareholder in these companies, if the company does well, I make a good financial gain, and it's for a good end point. So that the, the, the clean energy company that that, that I build, if it's, if it's successful, it's going to help the world's uh, reducing dependence on fossil fuels. It produces clean energy, it's good for the planet, it's good for my kids and their generations. So that's the second win. And the third win, since the profits go into the foundation that's directed towards other environmental projects, uh, that's another good thing. And it all comes out of building successful businesses. And so you've got to have that profit motive as your very important, uh, preeminent uh, goal. And if you can be successful, you get all these great spin-offs. And I, I just love that. Thank you. You've just heard the, the most magnificent presentation of doing good and doing well. If, if you talk about doing good and you don't run your charitable effort as a business, if you don't run it like a business, I can tell you uh, doing good is a very complex and difficult thing. If you run your business and you do well, then you can afford to do good and do good on a monumental scale. So uh, now that we've talked about your charitable end, that was terrific. Thank you so much for presenting it that way. Share a little bit as, uh, with us about Altura, which is helping do good and do well. Sure, thanks, Don. Uh, I started Altera Power a few years ago um, to be a leader in clean energy generation. This is producing electricity from, from non-polluting sources. Wind power is, is one, solar power is another, hydropower is another, and geothermal power is another. So from a standing start a few years ago, the company now is about a $600 million enterprise value company. It's listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange, and we generate about 600 megawatts of power. That's enough to power uh, a city the size of Vancouver, BC, uh, or Seattle, Washington. Uh, it's, it's a decent amount of power. We own 300 megawatts of that. We've got $110 million in revenue annually. This year, for example, EBITDA, about 55 million. So it's a sustainable business, and we have a ton of growth in the company, new projects, a great management team. Our big focus now is on, is on increasing that power production, all in the clean energy space. If it's, if it's clean energy, it is helping the world, but it's got to be done with a profit motive because otherwise it's not sustainable. So, so we've, been, uh, we've been having a lot of fun building this company, uh, lots and lots of hard work. There's pitfalls everywhere. It's, it's been a real challenge in, in the last few years because the wind is very much out of the sales of renewable energy. It's a, it's a, it's a down cycle for renewable, en renewable energy. Many companies have not done well as opposed to the mid-2000s when it was, you know, 2005 to 2007, it was the, the flavor of the month. Companies, it was very easy to raise money, very easy to get good, good values. So it's tougher today, but out of, out of difficulty often breeds success. Uh, tough conditions breed strong companies, and that's what we're really trying to, to be today, a strong, successful company in a, in a difficult space that I know will change when the world embraces renewable energy like they did five or ten years ago, it will come again, and when it's there, we want to be industry leaders. 
Thanks, Ross. As I said, doing good and doing well is of great interest. I plan personally on following Altura, and I would encourage lots of other people, because there are politicians who talk about doing good and doing well, and generally nothing comes out of those conversations. But here with Ross, you're hearing a man who is making political hay by doing good and doing well. Altera, I'm sure, will make a great contribution to our society, and I plan on following it and promoting it wherever I can. Thank you very much, Ross. I, I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Doug. Thank you.